probably something you wouldn't plan for. Wildfires ahead of your wedding day. But a family forced to flee in the middle of their rehearsal dinner. The Backbone Fire was getting so close to their venue in Strawberry, triggering evacuation orders. And tonight we're learning those orders could stay in effect at least a week longer as the fire continues to grow. The Wallaces, though, aren't going to wait. Instead, quickly shifting their plans to say I do, Cameron Pullum meets the now newlyweds sharing their unique chapter in this love story. The beautiful pictures at Kylie and Trace Wallace's wedding last weekend don't nearly tell the whole story of how they arrived at this heartwarming moment. You know, they've been dating for almost four years or four years now. They met um, during school. It's just a match made in heaven. The bride soon graduating to become a nurse, the groom an electrical engineer. And while their worlds collided in school, Trace's mom says their coexistence as a family was foreshadowed long before. I actually taught Kylie in middle school, 6th, 7th and 8th grade, so she's like a daughter to me already. The fairy tale planned to culminate in a hillside wedding in Strawberry, a venue filled with cabins, views, and plenty of room for celebration. The rehearsal underway last Friday. So we were having the re wedding rehearsal, and um, a gentleman comes running up just yelling at us and telling us we have to go. A wildfire sparked by lightning just a few days earlier was now barreling their way. It was kind of just a widespread uh not a panic, but a hurry up and get it done mode. We had 14 cabins. We loaded up in less than 10 minutes. We were all out of there. A surreal moment hitting home even further as they drove out of town. We actually pulled over in Pine just to kind of regroup and get everybody together to make sure everybody got out up on the back side of the hill. You could see the orange glow from the fire. As soon as we left, everybody started making phone calls and figuring out what are we going to do next? The wedding less than 24 hours away, the wedding party splintered into tasks, transforming the bride's parents' backyard, redirecting vendors, even building a wedding arch with materials frantically picked up at Home Depot. That whole small army that put this thing together in such a short time, it's almost miraculous. They were little worker bees. It was amazing. By the time Kylie walked down the aisle, the wedding that seemed destined for disaster went off without a hitch, thanks to the determined spirit of family and friends. Like they said, they wouldn't change one single thing that happened. You know, when it all comes to an end, it was perfect. I'm Cameron Polam, ABC 15, Arizona. Well,